Hi there guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining us. As you can tell from the title, uh, the Reds have got their manager in, Marcus uh, Schlopp. Or if that's how it's pronounced, please forgive me if that's not how it's pronounced. Um, on a three-year deal. Um, delighted, I have to say, absolutely delighted. Before we do get talking about it though, drop a like and subscribe. It really, really would help. Um, so, England are playing Germany now as we speak. This video is a little bit late because I've literally only just got out of work. Um... And I've seen it and everything like that. Um, and I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it, really. I'm just happy it's sorted. More than anything, I am happy that the club's not messed about. They have got this man in. And I think it shows that they knew Ishmael was going after that Swansea loss. You could say maybe even from there. They've not messed about. They've had this man lined up and he's come in on a three-year contract as well, which is very good. I hope he can honour that. It depends on how we do it uh, next season. Um, and yeah, I wish him all the best. I like the look of him. He looks a character. He looks like, you know, somebody who's going to get us going, uh, everything like that. But, um, yeah, the club's not messed about. And, and like we said, you know, we spoke, me, Luke and Craig, all about these domestic British coaches and everything. And I think, like we've said, we've just got to remember that as long as these owners are here, the, the idea of a manager or head coach, should I say, is always going to be somebody from abroad. I think it's it, they fit the criteria. That's how it's running. You know, you look at the last three managers. You know, we have to be honest and say they've all worked. You know, Struber, uh, Ishmael. Sorry, Stendel, Struber, and Ishmael. They all worked. Stendel got us up from League One, um, and I think would have been a bit more even more successful had he been given a bit more backing. Struber did the impossible. He kept us up that year and then Ishmael overachieved and got us into fifth. So we can't question it really. We can always have opinions like I have and I always say I would like, maybe it's an old school thing, me saying I'd like a British coach here. I don't know, maybe it is, but you know, it's worked and hopefully, you know, this it works for this lad as well, you know, and it looks, like I said, he looks a character. He looks like somebody who, you know, who's going to get us going, which I hope he can do because like I said, you know, he's got a lot of work to do. You know, Barnsley fans have got a lot of high expectations. You look at how many season tickets we've sold. You know, they've got expectations in progressing from fifth maybe to even higher. Whether that's a realistic view, I don't know. My realistic view is mid-table. I still feel like we are a mid-table side. You know, I'd love to see us go even higher. But I'm set, I'm not going to set my goals too high. I think mid-table is, is where we're at or... or you know, at least staying in the in the in the championship. That's the main priority. You know, don't forget it's in a way another transitional period for us. New manager, we're gonna have a new captain as well because it does. It, Mo, it looks like he is on the verge of joining West Brom on a free. Um, so there's there's lots of stuff going on, but I hope he can get us playing, and I hope that you know we can see something um, special. You know, I mean, it was okay watching Ishmael's football on I follow, but. It was never the same as being in the ground and uh, that's why in a way I said I couldn't really take to Ishmael, not just his football, there's a cobweb there, not just his football but also um, the fact that we weren't there and the fact that we were on eye follow, you know, and I never really saw him, never seen him in person, weren't we him, weren't we him on the touchline uh, at home games or at away games, so... You know, that may be something that's that's gone now that's just kept us through this year. But like we've said, we thanked Ishmael and I thank Ishmael for his work that he did over the year. And he's got himself a dream job at West Brom who, who are going to be certainties to be challenging. They're going to want to challenge. They want to get back to the Premier League. Whereas with Barnsley, you know, it was always not as, not as high expectations. And um, I hope that, you know, I hope that... He could take us all the way. I really do. You know, it's it's uh, something I'd uh, we we all want to see. And like I said, that was a shame with Ishmael that we weren't there to be there week in week out when we were playing these teams and we were getting results and everything like that. That's the that was the shame about Ishmael's um, football. Really, that we weren't there to to be able to go and watch it and to to be behind them when we were there. It's okay on I follow, but it's just it's not always not the same. And and I'm sure any, you guys can understand. 
that. But uh, listen, delighted, absolutely delighted that we've not messed about and it gives us a chance now to be able to go on. We've got a full month of preparation under this new guy, under Marcus uh, Schlopp or however it's pronounced. You you guys will say it in the, in the comments. But uh, and once again, sorry that the video is a little bit late, but like I said, when I'm at work, I can't just say, oh, can I nip out and do a quick uh, video talking about football managers because that's not how it works. So uh, get in the comments, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the manager and I look forward to hearing them so thank you for watching guys I'll see you all soon and um, we'll see what the score is with England you know so uh, thank you guys for watching I'll see you all soon you Reds